Hey beauties and welcome back to I'm Beautiful Hustle TV. We are back with video number three for our Fall For Me series. Now today's wig is provided by me. This is our 13 by 6 HD lace frontal, full parting space frontal wig, highlight color, okay? Bomb.com, y'all already know my wigs are top tier. If you don't know, place an order today and you will find out on your own. But yes, this is a HD highlight wig, 13 by 6 full parting space, um, hd lace period highlight um body wave wig and today i'll be installing it on my client today she purchased a wig from me and i've decided to do this install because this color is perfect for our fall series so i say you know what girl i'm gonna record this because i know it's going to be a slate and i'm so glad that i did judging by the thumbnail you already know what style we're gonna do today so i couldn't wait to bring you guys this content and that's why i decided to drop it the same day i did it but nevertheless, y'all, we're going to already start off with our ball cap. So, y'all know I'm going to go in with the foundation and put it on the inside of the wig on, um, as well as the outside of the lace. And then I'm going to go in with the BH Slay Lace Smear Adhesive, the original smear. This is not the strawberry one, y'all. This is just the regular one. But nevertheless, I'm going to apply uh, four layers of this glue. I'm only going to show you guys one on camera. And then we will get into melting this wig. And just to give you guys a little more details on the wig, this is a 24 inch body wave wig and my wigs do come um, from between 180% density all the way up to 220 depending on the length that you're getting. But this is a 180% density wig, 24 inch. And y'all, the wig is super thick, it is super full as you guys will see judging on this install. No added bundles, no none of that, okay? But um, nevertheless, now that we got that out the way, um, I'm going ahead and I'm placing that lace into that glue. I'm going to have my client hold one side and I'm going to comb um, the lace into the glue. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, pull it down, have her hold it, comb it into place. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer on the warm setting and blow dry that lace in and comb it in at the same time. And now I'm going to go in with my melt belt, tie down my lace, and let that sit for 5 to 10 minutes. Now after letting that lace sit for um, 5 to 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and cut the extra um, lace from around the ears. I forgot to do this before I actually glued it down, but whether you do it before or after really doesn't matter. You're still going to get the job done. So, But now I'm going to take the time out to go ahead and cut the extra lace from around the ears. Then we will slit the lace down the middle with the scissors and then go in with the eyebrow razor and razor off the lace. As y'all know, I like to slit the lace down the middle first, then cut one side 
um, tack it down and do, do the same thing to the other side. So that's what I'm going to do here. Raise it off, attach anything that's still lifting or need, you know, places that need glue. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And just to get a little up close and personal, um, I'm just tacking down the glue here on this side as well. I'm adding more glue under these small little places and then I'm going to push that lace right into that glue. So now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and take some foundation, tap it across the lace, and then I'm going to go in with my even holding spray, spray it on my finger, tap it across the lace. Now I just want y'all to disregard, let me get this out of the way, disclaimer before somebody try to eat me up in the comments. Yes, I see my elbows are ashy, okay? I noticed that when my elbows are ashy in a video, I'm about to slay some shit, okay? So don't come for me, okay? But what you can do is like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about this look but yes my elbow is going to be ashy throughout this whole video y'all i did not notice it while i was recording but it doesn't matter because it's still a slay so yeah keep your comments to yourself okay well keep those comments to yourself but make sure you leave a comment on this video on that song period So now that we moved the uh, melt belt for the second time, I'm gonna go ahead and start to carve out my little semi circle. And I also went ahead and pulled um, the baby hair down in that little section right there where you see it. And I'm gonna do the sideburn as well. But I'm going to start off my little semi circle. You're gonna create that same semi circle that you would if you were doing a Chinese bang, but you just make it less centered and more over towards whatever side you wanna have like your actual part on. So, um, that's all I did. I just created like a little semi-circle, half-circle, whatever you want to call it. And right now I'm just going in with the wax stick and a hot comb and just hot combing the hair in the direction that I want it to fall. Because as you see, we will be doing a top ponytail. And now I'm just finishing up my little half circle. I'm going around and then I'm going to take um, the uh, wax stick and the hot comb and kind of press out that area around it as well. And then I'm going to plait that little area right here that will be that I pulled out. That's going to be my bang later on. I'm just going to kind of smooth the hot comb, um, everything behind it. I'm going to plait that, pull out my baby hair sideburn for this side because we're only going to do one for the sideburn area. And that will be it for this part right here.
Now, when it comes to this style, y'all, it is many different steps that I take to get my final look. So we already done did the um, section for the front for the bang. Now I already hot combed it a little bit in the direction that I wanted to go and separated the baby hairs. But now it's time to actually separate uh, the hair for, uh, for the ponytail and everything else in the back. So I'm going to start my horizontal part going from, you know, side to side, ear to ear, whatever you want to call it, and begin to... Um, wax and hot comb the rest of it going towards the back because I want to make sure I get a nice separation for the hair from my ponytail and the back of the wig. Now, y'all know usually when I do my installs, I use my male belt twice, but today I'm gonna use a male belt three times for the charm um, because I wanted to make sure that my lace is laid again now that I have the baby hair sectioned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, tie that melt belt on. And while that melt belt is on, what I'm gonna be doing is sleeking uh, my ponytail up for the top part. So I will show you guys exactly how I get my ponytails nice and sleek. So you guys, to get my ponytails nice and sleek, the key thing that you want to do is really go in section by section and hot comb it out. And you also want to apply some wax. Now using a wax stick will give you that nice sleek shine and it makes it lay down way flatter, which also makes it easier to actually put it up in a ponytail. But the way I'm going to do it today is I'm going to put my ponytail up by doing two different sections and combining it as one. So before I even get into doing a ponytail, as you can see, I'm just going in, like I mentioned, with the wax stick in small sections and hot combing it and hot combing it in a direction that I want it to fall. That is the key part that you already have your hair kind of pre-molded in the way you need it to lay down. So I already did one side and y'all know what you do to one side, you need to do to the other. So I'm doing the same thing on this side here, adding the wax, hot combing it. Excuse me, y'all keep coming in and out of the camera, but I just got tired of going around, going around. So I'm just reaching over at this point so I can just grab the hot comb and, you know, press it up, drop it down and just do the same thing to this side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start my molding process by using my even holding spray and just spraying 
it on the hair that I just slicked up with the wax stick and just adding it on top as a, you know, more secure and harder barrier. Um, that way I don't have any hairs out of place, anything like that. So I just spray some of that even spray and I'm taking my comb and still combing it in the direction that I want it to fall. And then I'm going to go in my blow dryer on the heat setting and blow dry it just a tad little piece. Um, so it's nice and dry into place. So once I sleek it up, it will be nice and easy. And as I mentioned, y'all, um, that I'm going to actually do two sections to create my one ponytail. So I did about half of, you know, the top. And I'm going to sleek it up, but I make sure that once I sleek it up and I pull it, that I'm pulling it towards the center of the head. Do not make the mistake of making it like off center. So even though I'm only doing one half, I'm still pulling it towards the center and I'm going in with my black rubber band and just securing it. And I'm just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and trying to keep it as neat as possible. But if anything, you can always go back in with a little holding spray and sleek down any flyaways. Or if you feel like it's not to your liking, take it down and try again you might not get it the first time surprisingly y'all i got it down the first time today but usually it might take me a few little tries to get that final final you know that i need but now that i did that side i'm going to go ahead and match up the other side same thing i already um sleeped it up but now i'm going to take the um holding spray spray it mold it pull it up rubber band it So now that I went ahead and rubber band up that second part, I'm going to go ahead and remove that male belt so I could go ahead and just do the baby hairs really quick. So I'm going to do the baby hairs really fast. I'm not going to go too much in detail with the baby hairs because I have over 500 videos that have it in there. So I'm just going to make it short and simple. I'm going to show you one baby hair on this side and I'm just going to pretty much just go ahead and do the other side of camera. And then we're going to get into um, curling, um, you know, making a ponytail more seamless and so on. So now that the ponytail is done, I'm just gonna focus a little bit on a bang. We're not doing it yet, but we're just kind of molding it into place. I just took a little even spray and I'm creating like that little hump effect. Um, so it's not just like super flat. We're not doing a swoop, so it don't have to be super flat to the face. I wanted just a tad bit of volume right there. So when I curl it up, you know, y'all gonna y'all see how it's y'all y'all know what we it's yeah. You if you if you know, you know. The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, just don't. But nevertheless, um, now I'm going to take a little part and spray it with some holding spray because y'all know we got to do the seamless ponytail. We got to do a wrap around a rubber band. I really, really hate when I see people leave their rubber band out on styles, especially like this. 
please just take a little bit of hair and wrap around over band. It makes a big difference in the outcome of the look. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and once again secure with some more holding spray. And if y'all don't know by now, this even hair spray is like the bomb.com. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's the one for sure. But nevertheless, uh, wrap it around, spray it, get it secured. And then the next thing we'll have to do is start focusing on the curls. Um, and I did use my Big Wonk um, curler. Um, it's by the brand Gem, G-E-M. Um, and I don't remember where I got it from exactly, but y'all can check Amazon. I know Amazon usually has everything. But um, I'm going to use that Gem curler. And like I mentioned, I'm not going to curl it on camera because it's just wand curls and it's just so much repetition but i am going to show you guys after i curl it once i you know get to the actual ponytail part which will only be about six curls at the top and that's why i showed y'all that easy breezy beautiful cover girl part but um nevertheless once i finish um sleeking this how i want it around the ripper band part i will go ahead and just do those curls and then when i come back on you will see me curling up the ponytail Oh wait, sorry y'all, forgot to mention this part. So um, I took the rubber band out the bag from you know me separating the sections so I don't you know I can keep it as neat as possible. And I'm just going in with a little bit of wax and just hot combing the back hair the direction that I want it to fall before I actually add the curls. So I know I said I'll come back on once I finish curling up, but I forgot this part is very very important. You want to hot comb the hair in the direction you want to fall. You want it to fall, and I'm still using a little bit of wax sticks to just kind of mold mold it and then go in with that holding spray once again and just kind of comb and smooth it down before I add the curls. And boom, the curls are here. As you can see, I went and wand curled, uh, wand curled it up, wand curled it up, and now I'm going to be using um, my gem curler still and just curling up the top piece real quick. I curled about six pieces at the top, and then once I'm done with that, I will go ahead and curl up the bang. I did cut the bang in a um, an angle layer. Um, and then I actually wand curled the bang too. I did not use like a regular curler. I actually wand curled the bang. And then um, once I finish curling those two pieces up, I will comb the bang into place. And also um, using a wide tooth comb, comb out the curls. You can leave it how it is if you want to keep it tight. But me, I just love wand curls and then just brushing it out. It just gives, it just does something for me. Um, but if you want to keep the curls pretty tight, like how it looks here, you can. Or, like I mentioned, if you want more of a big fluffy look, you can go ahead and um, tease it out. But I did just take my eyebrow razor and I just angled it down really quickly. It just took a little um, heat protectant, applied it on the hair, and now I'm wand curling the bang. And it's just so crazy because I never really wand curl bangs, but I don't know why I did it today. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And once I finish that, I will comb and smooth everything into place. Um, the bang, you just pretty much comb it till you get, you know, till you get it to your liking. So I'm just gonna comb that out first, and then I'm going to swoop it, swoop it. I'm gonna go in with the little flat iron and just tap it a little bit, um, to just drag the curl part more downward so it could just fall a certain type of way. And then I'm gonna go in with that wild tooth comb and comb out the back curls.
and now I'm just coming through those curls, finger combing, and using a wide tooth comb and just going through the curls, combing it back, pulling it forward so we get that full fullness. Like I said, this wig is from my brand, okay? Um, I haven't added the color highlight on there, but I will be adding it on there over the weekend. Y'all been super booked and super busy, so um, just bear with me. But however, um, I will be adding the highlight color to my website. Uh, just been so all over the place that's why i haven't added it yet but all, all i have to literally do is just go add that color on there but um over the weekend i will be updated the website will be updated um with the highlight wig color so if you want to purchase a highlight wig you will be able to and i will let you know on the side as well what patterns it also comes in because like i mentioned you guys this was a body wave wig from my collection this is a body wave wig from the BH Clay, okay? But here is the final look, guys. Let me know down below, beauties, how y'all feeling about this look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, drop some flames. Video number three for our fall series. We are killing it thus far, but stay tuned because we got some more fast stuff coming. Make sure you subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. See you on the next video.